We're walking back into the Arms Hotel. It's late in the evening. Welcome back to Wolf Among Us. Or immediately back if the previous episode was too short. Because fuck you, I don't know. Good. This shit will kill ya. Seriously. <laughs> he says that as he smokes. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Keep your pants on, buddy. You have to check in first if you want a room. So what? come on. Mosey on back and we'll get you set up. I'm not here for a room. <gasps> oh, uh... You... I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he... He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. All of our friends live at the Woodlands. You should... He'd be you should mortified. tell him. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Um... Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. <coughs> I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Alright. Time to go. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Oh boy. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. <laughs> Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? Ah, shit. Um. Shit, how do I look at shit? Shit, I wanna... Oh, it was 207, right? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. 
Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, <sighs> fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No, Beast! I promise I'm not! I'm helping him, that's all! I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! I know what goes on no, here! You've got it wrong, man! Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- uh, Hey! Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! Oh no. Hey buddy! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! Oh dear. She's my wife, Bigby! Yeah, I know! Nothing's going on! Oh dear. Stop! Can we throw him into the door? Leave him be! This is my fault! Please, no! I understand! Oh dear. Okay. Beast! Um, Big B, no! Don't hurt him! He's had enough. There we go. Shit, Big B. What have you done? What? What is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you don't want to see this. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this... is this... Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then... Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. Who rented the I mean, room? look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But Just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Come on, Beast. I'm, I'm sorry I gouged your eyes out. You might want to calm down, though. Big Beast, <coughs> what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. Right, first, I can't believe looks this. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. 
flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Calm down. I'm a detective. I know what I'm doing. I don't think... Wait a minute. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Huh. We shouldn't even be in here. Oh, it's a storybook. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Red Empire. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. I can't read that shit. I thought I told you to wait outside. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. She <coughs> must have been so scared. All right, let's see what's on this fucking cassette. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here, and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Maybe she didn't see it coming. Get it together, beauty. Be strong. Wait. Do you smell something? 
No. Just Apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. Oh. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Duh! It's a letter. The fuck is this music? Are those pictures of the dead girl? Not all of them. Wait. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. Oh, who the fuck is watching us? His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. Could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. I'm really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Bigby. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? <laughs> oh my God! Holy hell, man! That was... That was something. So it's... Mr. Crane! Mr. Crane! Oh god, you're ugly. But yeah, damn, man. Alright, well, that was episode two. See you in episode three. Hopefully we get to kill this fucker because he's sick and twisted in the head. And I don't like sick and twisted people unless they're me. <laughs>